These songs are really new, so I've never played them. <laughs> Excuse me, father, for I was sin, I kill a man. I'm walking down the avenue, gun in my head. So I'm doing right, so I'm being nice, God knows I tried. Nothing is for free in life, here is how you pay the price. My love, this is my love, it's all I have. I mean, on this album, I used a lot of um, strings, you know, like orchestra. And um, I'm intending to basically, um, sh you know, showcase that as well in, in the live show. Have them play in a whole different way, in a more rhythmical way, um, more in a more African way, because I think classical music is something very European. And it's really interesting to take something that's known for something else and put it in a new context and combine it with the extreme opposite. I guess every artist always thinks that his, his current work is the best, but I really do think so. Summer time on the rooftop in Paris. I think, yeah, this album is kind of a, a turning point because it's, it's, it's the first time that I kind of do this kind of collaboration, you know, approach the visual as as much as the musical um, aspect of it, you know, from a really artistic kind of uh, point. Ain't got no bed, ain't got no mind. Well, it's a big inspiration to work with JR because we both want, want, uh, want to show reality and a different reality that people know. And um, it was interesting for me to listen to his opinion because he's been following my, um, my whole thing from, from the get-go, from the beginning. Also, his, his attitude towards work, um, the fact that he doesn't do any branding, and it's just about art and integrity, and um, that, that to me is very important and really a big, big thing nowadays to take a stand like that. Because nowadays, everything is driven by a brand and branding and brands and commercial aspects, and this is about art, and that's, that's why it was really good to collaborate with him. We were with two different artists using different medias to basically express oneness, you know, the same thing, the fact that we actually are one. Um, we come from different places, we have different cultures, you know, different backgrounds, but we, we go through the same struggles, the same pain, the same life, you know, and that kind of binds us together. Ain't got no home, ain't got no car, ain't got no money, ain't got no class, ain't got no friends. Ain't got no brother, ain't got no color, ain't got no father, ain't got no fame, ain't got no earth, ain't got no water, ain't got no ticket, ain't got no token, ain't got no love. The way I write is um, it's really um, kind of, I go by feeling and I kind of feel my way with the song and the song kind of um, guides me. You know, now I'm, uh, I've been doing all these interviews and people ask me, so what does this mean? What, what does that mean? And I'm really trying hard to kind of come up with some explanation when in fact, I wasn't actually sure what I was writing about. It came to me and it was, was just an intuition that I had, but I, I went by, by an impulse. And I collaborated a lot with, like, with different producers, you know, young guys. Also, these guys, they come from DJ. I'm coming, I'm coming from live playing. And I, I love the, this actual, actual blend because, I get, like I said, people are trying to do, create this uh, future retro sound. Sometimes 
sometimes I don't even feel like I try to really get the best musicians that capture this whole vibe to get these guys together and play and then basically sample them and do something that a DJ would usually do with like old records yeah, with all this vintage equipment you know and I could go and you know, really like experiment and, and, and you know It's, a, it's, a, it's one word, it has three letters. To me, that's kind of a universal formula. One can be that, but one at the same it, it, it's everything else at the same time. It stands for oneness, it stands for unity, for universe, for anything to do with unity. You know, unique.